Good afternoon, everybody. It's Dr. Heather, and this is the Junk You Should Know Show. And welcome, if you haven't been here before. Uh, this is a show we run every Friday at noon PST and have for two years now. We have over 100 shows, and guess where they are? Over on the Well Fit and Fed YouTube channel. So head over there and click follow because you don't want to miss a show. They're super fun. Today we're talking about jump rope because we are in a time when many gyms are closed, many options for workouts to make them super easy um, have changed. What you do normally may not be what you're doing now. So I wanted to go through some basics of jump rope because you can do jump rope anywhere, anytime. You can do it indoors, you can do it outdoors, and why not get started? So let's just remove any barriers about jump roping because I've been teaching it for some time and I know what all of your excuses are. So we're gonna go over them. When you come on, I want you to, in the comments, say if you are a beginner or an intermediate or an advanced jumper, or if I ain't jumped since I was five years old, then put that in there too. Okay, so we um, are gonna talk about the basic jump today. There's one of four uh, steps that I like to teach. Uh, the first one is called a basic, and we're gonna do that. We're gonna also talk about rope length. We're gonna talk about watch outs and mistakes that people make regularly, um, do a little demo for you, and we're gonna talk about what kind of rope to purchase. So let's start there, because a lot of people are like, well, I don't know what rope to buy. It's very simple. Let me show you uh, one of the first ropes I bought, and that is this guy. And this was a whopping $9 on Amazon, something along those lines. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Raul. And you do not have to buy an expensive rope to start. Don't buy an expensive rope until you know that you want to keep jumping. So after you've learned a little bit and you're like, this rocks. I'm cool. I'm a good jumper. Then you can invest in the more expensive ropes, which we'll talk about. So this is, I still use this. I'll take it traveling. It's uh, a nice light rope. I'll put a link below, but it runs about $9. The second rope I bought was from Target. And this one I wanted to show you because it has weighted handles. And that is a nice option. It's not what I would recommend you start with. Hey, Bernadette, awesome. It's not what I would recommend. Bernadette is one of the best jumpers on the planet. Please go over to find her on Instagram, find her on Facebook, Bernadette Henry. Um, make, please put it, Bernadette, put it down. Make, I can't get it quite right. Please, Bernadette, put your link down below. Um, she's incredible. So this is a rope from Target. It's got weighted handles, which is fine. However, a weighted rope is gonna give you more bang for your buck. And we're gonna talk about weighted ropes in just a minute. And so this is fine. This gives you a little extra bit of an arm workout, but the weighted rope actually is um, way better for a weighted workout because the faster you jump, the more you are lifting, whereas this is just gonna be five pounds, five pounds, five pounds, okay? So we're gonna talk about that in just a minute. The, the Cadillac or the Mercedes, in my opinion, is from Cross Ropes. So Cross Ropes is a company that only deals in jump ropes and they have fantastic ropes that you can buy and they've got these cool, like swivel, super fancy, and they are just really fun. So we're gonna jump with this rope today because it is a quarter pound and so it gives me a little extra resistance and Bernadette will actually tell you uh, that jumping with a weighted rope when you begin can actually help you so if your rope is way too light sometimes it's hard to control it this can be a little bit easier so if you're struggling at first and you're like I can't get it you might consider buying a weighted rope to help you along so as I mentioned, there's four different uh, basic steps that I consider kind of the, the foundational principles in jumping, your basic, your alternate, your boxer, and your jack step. Today, we're gonna go over basic, but I have good news for you. I have a course that I'm gonna put a link below that if this interests you, then this is an, a 10 day online jumping course for women over 40, okay? If you're not a woman over 40, you can still get it, but this is really geared toward women who are getting back into jumping as a form of exercise, as a form of cross training, as something they can do to up their fitness prowess, okay? Um, awesome, Bernadette's writing some stuff in the comments, so make sure to read that. Okay, where do you buy? Just review, Amazon Target, go to your local sporting goods store, get the cheap one first, 
then when you feel like, hey, I'm gonna be a rock star at this, go to crossropes.com. I do not get any affiliate from them. I just happen to love them. There are some others. This is just the one I really like. Um, there are some mistakes that we make when we start jumping rope, but I am going to show you the basic first, and then we're gonna talk about the mistakes that y'all make all the time, okay? So the basic is the first jump you wanna make. When we started as little girls, we jumped a certain way, and that's not what we're doing. So I'm gonna show you the basic, then I'm gonna break it down for you. So I'm taking my rope. Ah, guys, how do you know how long a rope to use? That is a big question that I get all the time. And so what you do is you step on it and you bring it up to your chest, no handles, drop the handles down so the actual length of the rope should come between sternum and collarbones, somewhere in here, okay? If it's shorter, you're not gonna be happy with it. If it's longer, you're not gonna be happy. And it's two of the reasons, too short or too long, that people get super frustrated jumping. So make sure your rope is right. And a little secret, do I have it? Yep. Remember I showed you this weighted rope? Well, this mother is way too long. So here's what I do. You can tie a knot in your rope. It's not against the law. And so you can do that and that can shorten the rope to the length that you need it, okay? All right, so basic jump is basically we're just up and down like this and I'm gonna back up so you can see it, but your soft feet, okay, your soft knees and we'll get into some of the other ways to break it down here in just a, just a jiffy. So I'm gonna back up a little bit, I'm gonna show you a sample and then we're gonna talk about it, okay? Here we go, we're going back up and I think you can see all of me and here we go. Okay, so that is basic. And what I wanna draw your attention to is a couple of things. Soft feet, slight bend in the knees, keep the, the core engaged, okay? If you don't keep the core engaged, then you end up arching your back and slamming into your low back every time you jump. So tighten your tummy and squeeze your bum as you jump arms this is a tough thing for people they end up all over the place right you want elbows in kind of tight to your sides you want wrists down and basically i love what adrian benyagi said she's a great jumper as well it's like you're flicking rain off your wrists just like this okay it's not you're not doing it all from your shoulders it's just wrist so i'm going to show you again and then we can talk about it a little bit more and see if you have any questions. Okay, here we go, basic. Don't you love the snap of a good jump rope? I do. Okay, so that's the basic. So we've covered so far, basic jump, how long a rope to buy, where to buy your rope. Now, how do you get started? Well, you just want to start with a few jumps at a time. Now, if you are a total beginner and you're really not sure what to do, you're going to break it down really slow. And all you're going to do is you're going to put the rope behind you and then you're going to bring it around and do one jump. You're going to bring it around and do one jump. And then you start to draw, try to do one, two, one, two, and do two jumps in a row. Then you start to link them together. Now, another mistake that people make, women, because when we jumped rope as kids, this is what we did. I don't even know if I can do it. I'm gonna try. The dreaded double jump. Not good. You can't build on that. So you have to break the habit. So if you find yourself double jumping, go back to what I just showed you, which is swing the rope around, jump over it swing the rope around, jump over it, and then just try to speed that up. Okay, no double jump. So two other things for women, men, if you're watching, close your ears, okay? You afraid of pee in your pants? It's a real thing. So make sure you go to the bathroom right before you go and make sure you're kind of squeezing as you're jumping for sure, and don't let it be a deterrent. And finally, if it, this is an issue, remember that incontinence is common but not normal make sure to get it checked out so the biggest trick that most women say is just empty your bladder before you start jumping the ladies 
how do we deal with these bouncing all over the place? Not a problem for me, uh, but for some uh, more well-endowed FedEx, um, it can be an issue. It can be uncomfortable. So you can double up on the sports bra, just get way more supportive. And again, you're not injuring yourself. You're not hurting yourself if that happens. Um, just be aware that you want to try to get more support there because jumping can be kind of like bouncy aroundy. Okay, so just quickly reviewing the basic. Soft knees, soft ankles, keep elbows down into your side. We're not doing this. We're using wrist action. So we're just flicking our wrist as we turn it around, okay? So that you don't end up kind of doing this movement and then no double jump. Keep your core engaged, keep your butt tight, and just practice. Guys, it's the 10,000 hour rule. You just have to put the time in. But once you start to ramp up and you start to see how much fun it is and you see how much exercise you can get in such a short amount of time, you are going to love it. Now, not that I need to sell you on this, but let me tell you something. Most people think jump rope is cardio, right? Yes, it is, but it is also strengthening it's balance, it's bone density, it's cognition, and it's coordination. Okay, this huge, huge benefits to jumping rope. So I wanted to make sure that you guys all had the entry level opportunity to get going jumping your rope. If you want more, go down below and there's a link to the course that I was recommending at the beginning, which will give you the alternate step, the boxer step, the jack step, and tons more and special appearance from Bernadette who's watching right now and Adrian and another ga gal named Jenica who are incredible tutors for us to learn how to jump. So I'm gonna just check and see if you guys have any question. Uh, Bernadette says the double jump is great if you are using a much heavier rope or if you're trying to take a break for sure it's when you can't get out of it. It's when that's all you can do. You need to be able to do the other skills for sure. That's a great question, Bernadette. Okay, I am going to sign off and I'm gonna go into the comments and start answering a bunch of questions because I'm on my iPad, so it's hard to answer questions on your iPad. And so I will go answer comments. I'll put some links in. I'll put cross ropes in as a link and, um, and we will see you next week. And if you have questions in between time, Please do not hesitate to reach out and remember to share these shows with your friends and head over to YouTube and subscribe there because that's where all the shows live forever. Okay guys, I hope you have a great weekend. Happy jumping and I'm so glad you joined me here today whether you were live or in replay. I love you all the same. Mwah!